What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I fancy something different, carp on the fly. This is just pleasure fishing for me. A lot of people don't agree with uh, fishing with bait, fly fishing, but this is literally a couple of hours fun. You can go out and stalk them and fish like a blob and under an indicator or a sink, slow sinking bread fly, or even like beetles on the surface and pick out which fish you want. But it's about seven o'clock in the evening. The light is starting to get low and I'm not going to see the fish as well. Although I've just pulled up and there's a few fish moving behind me. So I might stalk one before I start chucking all my floaters in. I get the fish feed in a pellet fly, which imitates these. This is my uh, selection of carp flies there. You got all the dog biscuit imitations, uh, slow sinking bread flies, all different shades and colors and then you got like beetles and grasshoppers there. Whoops, one just fell out. I have done it, don't get me wrong about bait, but today we're going to use a bit of bait because I've only got a couple of hours and I want some epic sport. Um, as far as I know, um, I've got the, the British record grass carp caught on the fly last summer, which was £30 with no bait, just a beetle imitation. I'll pull that picture up now so you can see it. Um, I know, in the business end, right. So I've got a nine foot eight weight custom rod built by my good friend Andy Banton. First time using this. So I'm gonna put this to the test. Look at that, carbon reel seat, absolutely banging. I'm gonna start off there with this full in mill disco biscuit, I think it's called. This is, for me, this is the ultimate carp fly for surface fishing. And as all my still water fl uh, fly lines, this is a Rio Grande Elite on my Hardy ultra disc reel an eight foot tapered leader it's a float in poly leader i put a bit of mucilin on my tapered leader tied to a tippet ring and then i've got a about two foot of uh, my tippet which which makes up about 10 foot any more than that you're going to miss a lot of fish you want a short leader on 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 uh, on the carp it's not like trout because they're buggers they'll suck it in spit it back out and you've got to, the timing is everything you've got to do a strip strike and get that timing perfect. I'm gonna miss more fish than I catch, but it's early season, so they should be well up for it. Let's have a go. So down by there is a nice looking ghost carp or, um, I don't know what it's called. Ghost carp, goldfish, koi carp, God knows, but I'm gonna turn this on now. I'm gonna try and catch it, catch it down by there. So what I was after, the ghost carp. <laughs> Look at that. Don't think he knows he's hooked. I'll just put him in the net there. come out in the net there we go lovely carp there small one and just like that it's that much fun and that easy. This is the best float dunt. Dry magic. Let's chuck a bit of that. Bit of this on my fly. This is hands down. It's, it's not cheap, it's about a ten or a bottle, but hands down the best. It's a few fish. We're gonna move down in a bit because I like it down there better. I normally get some bigger ones, but I'm just a bit fixated by you at the moment because they're feeding. 
We're only checking out a handful at a time. I mix the colours because using a fly that's different, it helps get the fish in a bit better. Make, makes them a bit more confident because there's different colours to eat from. Right, I've re-rigged now with the one that just snapped me off to 12 pound tip it. I was on 10 before. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't snap me off this time. That's the one. Here we go. There's it coming. Oh, this one's going. This is going. Oh, that's a good fish. This is that one. The thing is, when you carp, well, I'm out with the camera then. When you're carp fishing, you can't give them much line. Uh, if you This is like the average size in here. <laughs> Look at that. Class. Just getting back safely. One thing about these fully mill bonio flies, once you have a fish on them, they log up, they log, soak up a lot of water. So I squeeze the water out, just chuck a little bit more float dent on, and we're back to go again. And notice. I'm only putting the, the float dent on the top of the fly because I want it to sit in the water like that and just keep this bit ginked up on the top and it'll sit better then. These are definitely the ultimate surface fly for carp if you're doing it this way with the biscuits. If not, you'd have to go probably a bit more natural. There you go. Oh, here we go. Oh, this this one. one. Oh, I come off. That was a bigger one then. Definitely a bigger one. Oh, never. Here we go. Nice little one. Oh, it's like a little F1 carp. <laughs> but all the same. Come here. Yeah. I've never caught a carp here this small. Do you know what? There you go, smallest carp I've ever caught on the fly. Go on, dude.
<laughs> oh my god. Come on. This fly might be a little bit big. One. Here we go. Hey, I'm in. Oh, this was going. This is going. Ah, oh, it's a good fish. Oh. This is a better one. The thing is, when you carp, look, I'm out with the camera then. When you're carp fishing, you can't give them much line. Uh, if you. So this is what we come for. Absolutely amazing scrap. Not gonna weigh it, but what a lovely fish. Let's get him back. Oh my God, that was one out of a scrap on the eight weight rod. Let's get him back in. Look at that. He's gone. Another one of the average size in here. Lovely stuff. Literally, it's like fighting a marlin. You just wedge the rod back into you by there. Oh, so powerful. Oh, 
that stuck on me. Heavy fish. Let's just try a different angle this time. Hopefully you can see the takes. Should be able to see that on camera. Oh, this one. <laughs> we got over this with two hands. Oh. Let's go this way. Oh, this one is really going for it now. He's out in the middle. Woohoo! Bring him towards me. Dig the rod into my forearm. Okay, so I've got this game over. We have got gorgeous dark one there. Let's get it back. They must be spawning. You can, I can feel the spawning marks on them. I think they're spawning or I've spawned this two and a half. You can feel the little bumps they've been spawning. Chris, the owner, did out come out of a chat for half hour and said that they have been spawning. Maybe that's why we're only catching the smaller ones in here because they go up to 40 plus. Absolute monsters. Jason Williams, he's the expert at this. He stalks them out. I think he's had one to 39 pound. Epic. Right, so just put a bit more mucilin on my poly leader. What's happening is my line is starting to sink in the water and you get a delayed reaction when you're striking and do a bit of a strip strike and lift the rod. I'm not sure if you just saw in the last fish. But that will keep the poly leader up in the water. The tip it, don't put anything on that. <laughs> this is what happens if you don't keep them on a tight leash they will just run run 
I'm running. <laughs> the funny thing is with carp fishing, mate, right? it doesn't matter how big they are, on a fly rod, unless you've tried it, you won't understand. It's not like any trout you've ever caught. Okay, down the river, you get a twitchy bum because you've got light tackle, fine tippets. Carp have just got a different kind of power. There's a heavy one. Fifteen pound. Lovely common carp. Thanks for watching, guys. And this is Carp on the Fly, made easy. Let's go. Let's go back there.